Uh, now we have uh, Professor Sabnani from the uh, Industrial Design Center, and she will be talking about the eCalpa project. Professor Sabnani. MHRD, it's a PDF. It's a PDF? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Can we just open it and see? Yeah. Just to confirm. Yeah, can you make it full screen? Yeah. But I, we, can, we need to up, up, upload this here. Okay. On the software. Okay. Okay, okay. Not to look there, and I need to look at my name. would like to talk about eCalpa today, uh, which is a digital learning environment for design in India. Design is all around us, uh, whether it's your rupee note, it's your washing machine, it's your telephone. <laughs> and there are, there are questions that people have that they don't know where to ask, especially in the context of India. So we have this um, resource. Uh, which on the website you will find it as dsource.in. We are three partners and have a growing number of associate institutions in Maharashtra, the Northeast and Karnataka and this number is growing. Uh, we have created content uh, with expert contributors as well as crowdsourcing to make it accessible far and wide. Our aim is to reach young audiences who will be the creators and users of design and will be well informed about design in the Indian context. Other uh, users are teachers, librarians, in service training and we have examples of uh, people using this website, whether they are teaching. So we have launched this two years ago and a lot of content has been uploaded. There are 12,000 page views per day and a lot of people are getting back to us uh, with uh, requests for workshops and so on. What we have are courses, uh, resources, case studies, video talks, gallery and showcases of how certain things are done. For example, if you want to know how the rupee symbol was designed, you can find that. Our objective is to increase the number of courses and resources as well as have you know more workshops, competitions and exhibitions online through MOOC and so on. I'll just show you a few examples. For example, this is something on grids. This is how the website looks. Uh, this is something on digital ink. How, so you can actually go online, click on these things, and find out 
how to do something. This is on syntactics and how tessellations work. So it's very visual uh, and very user friendly. This is on elements of three dimensional design. So everything is, you know, it has the same form over here if you see on your left, on the left of the page, you, you see the index, then there's an introduction and so on. So you can click here. There are also, you know, uh, videos and examples of things. So you can use it that way. This is a course on experimental animation. So the professors from IIT Guwahati, from NID Bangalore and IDC Bombay, you know, they have been uh, setting up teams to create these resources. This is on signage. So just to give you a sense of what we mean by design. That's the rupee symbol. So you can see how it was designed. You can go through the whole process. And for the Digital India Week, we have organized uh, three workshops at different centers. So the one in IDC is on character design for animation. All three are going to take place on the 5th of July. So, and they'll be uploaded. So watch out for it. And uh, I encourage you to visit this website and send us your feedback and any suggestions. You can also contribute if you wish because we have, if, when you look at the website, you realize how vast is the field of design and that you could be a contributor as well, besides being a user. So that's the workshop on character design for animation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sabnani. Thank you so much. Uh, now we have uh, Professor Kavi Arya uh, talking to you about the E-Yantra project at IIT Bombay. Am I positioned right? Thank you, and thank you, Mukta. Um, good afternoon, everybody. I think we're just afternoon now, and uh, it gives me great uh, pleasure to introduce some very exciting stuff that we're doing at IIT Bombay. So this comes out of uh, computer science teaching at IIT Bombay, where uh, uh, Professor Kriti Ramamritam and myself, a few years ago, found that when we were teaching an embedded systems course, that means a, a course in which we teach how to make machines with intelligence inside them. Intelligence means a computer inside, which you don't see, like in, say, washing machines, mobile phones, avionics kind of systems and all that. You need a very different approach to build these kind of systems. They're not your conventional, sequential computer systems, right? There's, they are they need, need a very interdisciplinary and systems engineering approach to uh, building these kind of systems, which you cannot get by just, you know, reading theory and just doing assignments and stuff like that. What you need to do is that you needed to build things. And to build these things, we found it a, a challenge to do with the existing kind of kits that we got in the market. So we built our own homegrown robot called the Eantra robot. And we found that with this little quarter plate size robot with sensors and processors and motors and stuff like that. When students used to program them to do some useful things, it would give them tremendous confidence and learning would happen automatically. And then we've discovered a few years later, after we've done lots of exciting things with these robots on our course, that this is actually called project-based learning, where you learn 
by doing right so this is what this presentation is all about and i will share with you what has happened because since then we found that what we had was extremely valuable we put it up on our website we started a website and we thought that everybody will grab it and everybody will gain from it and students will get motivated teachers will get motivated but sadly that's not what happened and then we realized that not only do we need to have an idea and share some knowledge but we need to evangelize we need to share our excitement and passion we need to share what we have in more meaningful ways with our colleagues in colleges and with students and maybe then interesting things will happen so this is the story of that um here's a very brief outline so i'll talk about three important limbs of our outreach one is a robotic competition with which we reach out to students then there's a lab set up initiative with which we build infrastructure in colleges now what is infrastructure infrastructure is not just buildings or labs or artifacts it is actually training so we uh, we expect a college to invest some money of its own about 4 uh, to 5 lakh rupees and they spend it for themselves on their own lab we advise them how to do it and we expect them to volunteer four teachers to be trained and within 4 to 5 months we will train your teachers we will help you set up your lab and you'll be plugged into the iit ecosystem there's lots of free software there's open source courseware there's open source projects which your students can be inspired to do be projects from and so on so that's the elsi e yantra lab setup initiative right now this has been growing very strongly our target has been 500 labs uh, throughout the country and i am very happy to say that last year in 2014 we've reached 107 labs inaugurated throughout the country now the target in the remaining 2 years is about 400 more labs then a lab is not enough the te uh, teachers being trained is not enough they need to find out what others are doing around them so we have this e yantra symposium at iit bombay once a year where teachers can come here and we uh, provide local hospitality and teachers share with each other best practices what their students have been doing how they've been using the labs the robots and we also have the finalists of the ideas uh, competition there and the teachers can see what these robots are being used for in other colleges right so the goals of our entire project are this now we want to motivate and we want to empower teachers and students right we want to uh, motivate them to think innovatively to spread this learning by doing approach and do more ambitious stuff in colleges we want to support infrastructure development that means bring together the teachers the students and the community which which is actually who will make in india tomorrow make in india means what somebody has to make in india and we feel that these students need to be made and equipped to be ready for this task of building artifacts that a very strongly growing economy needs right and then there is skill based learning and we will continue to educate our little community and share information that we acquire this is what a typical lab looks like this is an undergraduate class in embedded systems and robotics where two students will share a laptop and a robot and do all their assignments on the robot it's very motivating and then they do half a semester long uh, project at the end of it this is what the robot looks like it's a very versatile robot it's got five uh, 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 infrared sensors around it with which it can sense up to a meter away with millimeter accuracy it's got uh, uh, white line sensors at the bottom it's got a daughter board processor board which can have an 8051 atmega 2560 arm 7 and all sorts of uh, processors and it's fairly inexpensive as these things go very versatile so our competition has been a real success story i mean it's been growing exponentially first year 4500 students next year 6500 and this last year 12500 almost students took part in it from all over, all over the country and we formed them into uh, we, we select from them about 130 teams and then we run them through what is the project co component of our uh, course we've turned it into a competition where the students learn by doing and unlike any other competition we give the students the robot we give them the training and we lead them through the entire process of solving an interesting problem which is modeled as a game right and then the prizes are not money but they are internships at iit bombay 
this is how the uh, number of uh, students participating has been growing as you can see very strong growth lab setup right this is how the labs have been growing at a very strong pace this is a quarter wise growth in the labs to about 107 last year symposium brings together everybody right so we had all the teachers come to uh, IIT Bombay and you can see these pictures we are awarding uh, prizes to them the teachers also take part in a competition which is highly motivating and one thing we'll say without exception students teachers whoever comes into contact with this stuff they get very motivated they get very excited and committed to doing more of this uh, uh, this kind of work and teaching this is a bunch of uh, of uh, colleagues here who are inaugurating labs electronically um, number of interesting publications have come out of this in important uh, education journals we presented a couple of uh, papers at uh, frontiers in education last year uh, a conference in spain uh, for instance this is the community which comes together once a year at the moment and this is who you have to write to if you want if you would like to be a part of this very exciting project so i'd like to stop here and i would urge you to write to us at support at e-yantra.org we are growing uh, we are especially looking to grow in the northeast and in rajasthan places like this at the moment we've got tremendous representation and response in the uh, south states like uh, karnataka in uh, tamil nadu just tamil nadu itself has got about 60 labs at the moment but we are hoping for a good response from the rest of the country also right thank you very much for having given us the opportunity i'd like to hand the mic over to the next person thank you thank you professor arya thank you very much uh, uh, to continue uh, the program we have a presentation now from our center for distance education uh, we have mr arvind patel who will be talking to you about the activities at the uh, cd Uh, we will be having a 10 minute uh, interaction as soon as Mr. Patel finishes. So please do stand by for that. So good afternoon, uh, my name is Arvind Patil and I work as officer on special duty for the Center for Distance Engineering Education program which is a permanent entity at IIT Bombay taking care of the distance engineering activities. These activities that IIT Bombay have started way back in the year 2000 and it is continuing. The single point agenda of CDEEP as it is called in short is to provide outside IIT people access to the inside IIT classroom. So whatever happens inside the classroom at IIT Bombay is possible to be participating from outside and today from anywhere in the world and this happens through distance education this has some side activities that is we create an archive of a full fledged semester long course that as it is taught at IIT Bombay available to anybody from anywhere in the world. So this is the website of this uh, center cdip.iitb.ac.in and uh, there are some details about uh, CDIP activities uh, particularly I will be talking about the niche area of uh, C 
CDIPS activities that is offering courses as they happen at IIT Bombay. We call it live courses. So, live courses are simply accessible whenever the academic session is on by clicking to these various links. So, let me tell you that uh, uh, CDIP operates on the campus from four of its studios. We are sitting in one now, I am speaking to you from one of the studios and from the four studios, these four links are given. The academic schedule of IIT Bombay is followed exactly for offering the courses. Uh, of course, we are not in position to offer all the courses that are taught in a semester at IIT Bombay campus, but we try to offer 20-25 courses in a year and create an archive. So, live courses are available by just clicking to this corresponding link which will be available on the uh, schedule. The schedule is uh, not in place. The next semester of IIT Bombay will be starting on 28th July 20 and that time these links will be active. You could join the classroom from anywhere if you are on internet and be part of the classroom. Now, we have also a huge archive of 300 plus IIT Bombay certified courses. That means, the courses as taught at IIT Bombay out of 1200 courses that are listed as approved by the Senate of IIT Bombay. So, these recorded courses are now available through internet. So, I will just So, these recorded courses are available from ok. So, there is a internet connected issue here now, I am not able to show, but if you want to receive this uh, courses recorded, uh, it is a simple procedure, you will have to go to this internet VOD link, which I am not able to show now. But if you go to internet VOD link available on CD web page, then you could uh, register for the first time if you are using that web page. You can register by simply sharing your uh, valid email address and creating your own password for that. So, at one time you can get access to up to 10 full semester long courses and if you wish to change registration for any other course that is also available. Typically, a registration done for a course is valid for 180 days, which we consider as a fairly long period for you to study about 40 hours of teaching that is recorded there and this is free of cost. Those of the participant who wish to get some accreditation, grade, or interaction with the faculty member of IIT Bombay who taught that course that is also possible in a offline classroom mode. So, we have seen so far that institutions have taken offline classroom mode uh, courses to teach their entire batch of students. So, which I consider for this group of participants that all of you are might find it useful that you get a full semester long course recording right in the beginning and then use it uh, progressively for over 4 months and uh, get, let your students get benefited out of it and there would be uh, further interaction which typically is scheduled for 1 hour per week for all the 14 weeks. And then there are some individual uh, registrations possible, somebody who is not on IIT Bombay campus as a student of IIT Bombay and wants to participate in a course exactly the way a student of IIT Bombay is participating and that too simultaneously that is available by a credit mode participation 
which of course has some fee and uh, the participant joining in this mode is treated exactly as a student of IIT Bombay as far as his evaluation, his participation, writing exam, participating in quiz, assignments, everything, even uh, joining on the group for that course Moodle page. So that uh, is found to be of immense value, particularly from participants from outside the campus. So all these details what I have shared uh, with you uh, are available on the website uh, www.cdeep.iitb.ac.in, this is the website and you could always write to cdeep at iitb.ac.in, that is our generic email address. So we will uh, surely respond to your queries and right now if you have any query, uh, I am available here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will be continuing our uh, interaction for uh, some time because I know all of you are uh, waiting to connect to us and we have been uh, able to get only a few of you in the morning. Uh, we also have two very important presentations uh, remaining and uh, both uh, those uh, presentations uh, have been very, very successful at our remote centers also. So those will be at uh, 12.40. But in the meanwhile, I'd like to uh, interact with a few centers, uh, uh, not the ones that I have already interacted with. Uh, if anybody would like to say something, SK and Sihagad College of Engineering. Yes, please go ahead. Good afternoon. Uh, you are not audible at all. You are not audible. I'm really sorry, but you are not audible. Could you check your mic, please? Hello. Hello. Uh, we'll try to come back to you. We have done Dronacharya College, right? Yeah. So, Dronacharya College of Engineering. Hello. Yes, ma please. Am I audible? Yes, please. Go ahead. Good afternoon, ma'am. Myself, D.V. Vise from Dronacharya Group of Institutions, Greater Noida. We are happy to be part of this digital revolution by IIT Bombay. To name a few, we have a spoken tutorial project by IIT Bombay at our place. And I am happy to uh, tell you that 5,000 students have got certifications. We have Eantra Robotics Lab under ELSI Lab Setup Initiative which has been instituted last year. We have NITTR Chandigarh courses and our remote center has been awarded three star rating by NITTR Chandigarh. We have virtual lab nodal center of IIT Delhi. Recently, we have institutionalized NPTEL online courses from IIT Madras and we are running parallelly QEEE programs of IIT Madras. Thank you, ma'am. Excellent. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Uh, we will now go to Gandhi Institute for Technology. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Please go Hello. ahead. Uh, ma'am, to cope up with the digital world of today, the, our institute is having a specialist software cell where we have uh, managed our college management system software inside which uh, every details of the student, their attendance, their internal mark and uh, their college fees, libraries is also being maintained. And in regard to that, we are also having e-feedback system from the students as well as for faculties. Uh, we are also having e-requisition system through which we can uh, reduce the paperwork for any kind of requisition. And from the student side, they have also co cooperated to the. Uh, they have also cooperated to the uh, teachers for developing the, from moving from web-based to handheld devices. 
uh, for Android platform, they have also designed a leap system and a leap management system, which is soon to be implemented in our college. Along with that, they have also developed gift notice board system and also some uh, gift uh, publication system. So that is soon to be implemented in our college. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, from the interactions that we have had uh, since morning, it is indeed uh, heartening to see that uh, many of you are moving towards an entirely uh, paperless kind of a procedure and uh, that itself, that in itself is a very uh, uh, important achievement, I believe. So uh, the next uh, institute that we'd like to visit is uh, Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetham. Yes, Amrita? Good afternoon, ma'am. This is at Bangalore. What from ma'am? Uh, Yes, Koimathur. Okay, please go ahead. Apart from IST and QEEE program, Amrita University has also conducted more than 10, AVU prog 10 programs through AVU. One more uh, mechanical department going to ask me uh, international you not, workshop. You are not very audible, if I may interrupt. Please just hold the mic closer to you. Uh, okay. Uh, mechanical, mechanical department will be asked an international lecture on vehicle dynamics by Thomas G. Gillespie. He's from, he's from US. He will be addressing um, across seven centers in India. Uh, more than 2,000 students will be participating in this program. The coming uh, July 9 to 12th, next week, ma'am. Uh, if you send us an uh, email about this, uh, maybe we could uh, send it uh, to the other remote centers also. So, if okay, sure, ma'am, sure. if they can uh, uh, log in, they might be able to listen in, definitely. Okay. Thank you very much, Hamrita Koymatur. We'll go on to uh, Malaredi College of Engineering, Hyderabad. Mala Reddy College. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Uh, good morning, madam. Good afternoon. Actually, we have nine workshops conducted till now under IIT Bombay and IIT Karakpur. Uh, thing. Thank you for your support in this. And we have got automotive system in the college, like students can see marks and uh, hardness and all online itself. And we have got a digital library also. This digital library we have uh, uh, going, we have used like NPTEL courses and IEEE membership, all those things available. And it, we are using SAPs for evaluation of uh, papers, like exam papers, and Wi Fi enabled campus ours is. And we have uh, various placements like um, TCS, Infotech, Tech Mahindra, online exams. We have an MOU with Tech Mahindra. So these are all programs we are uh, taking care of in our college as part of this uh, digital uh, uh, week, Digital India week. Thank you, madam, for providing this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for waiting for so long. We really appreciate that. Thank you. So uh, one last college before we, uh, I hand over the mic to my colleague here. Which one? Mohandas College of Engineering. Mohandas College. Please go ahead. No audio from your side. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, in our college, we had internal mailing system and we have the messaging system yes please go ahead hello go ahead um, can you hear me yes yes uh, good afternoon ma'am good afternoon ma'am good In afternoon our college, go ahead we had internal mailing system a messaging system and we our internal sessionals are uploaded in our site We had internal mailing system, messaging system, automated library, 
and we have uh, using agash tablets we have done uh, students feedback is done through the agash tablets and multiple choice questions quizzes are done we had purchased nptel server and one hour per week is dedicated for this video lecture we used to conduct online examinations in our college uh, our campus is wifi enabled campus and for placement of students we conduct online aptitude test also for our local panchayat we have done the resource mapping is done by our college ma'am thank you thank you very much uh, just one more school of sis graduate school of technology sis graduate school of technology good afternoon ma'am good afternoon we from sis school of technology using model for uploading lecture notes and attendance term work calculations and we have implemented online hall ticket generation using model and also our college we have implemented the mark sheet generation for cbgs system using model and we have implemented many projects for example online ticket booking for mumbai local trains in this we need not stand in a queue to get the ticket instead using our app we can get it and the payment also can be done by using this uh, app and we have implemented uh, one more project like cloud based admission process for any universities in this students need not bring all the documents at college level instead verification of all the certificates can be done online using cloud itself and we have organized many workshops in digital mode like iot and we have 200 number of akash tablets and used for second and third year students for developing android applications and projects and uh, two years back our college won first prize in e entra competition and college has won first prize in mumbai university project combination avishkar in this we have developed an on board accident detection system and we have successfully completed spoken tutorials on linux and python for students and still we are working on digital mode ma'am thank you very much for your support and your valuable uh, workshops and this will be, this is very motivative and uh, we are going towards global digital uh, education thank you very much Hello. sis for those kind words uh, i will now invite uh, swapnil more from uh, the spoken tutorial team here uh, as you most of you have been already talking about how successful spoken tutorial is in your institute so now we have uh, a representative from their team talking about uh, the project yeah uh, i just like to make a small uh, announcement before swapnil takes over other uh, remote centers whom we have not been able to uh, reach out to today because of the lack of time uh, may i request all of you to send us the numbers the number of participants at each center uh, so that we have uh, some uh, sort of an idea uh, as to how many people attended this uh, digital india week function Uh, please do send it send your numbers to us uh, by email at e outreach and also a description of the activities that are going on in your institutes thank you ek contact file pan hai ti pan shewata dakhvayche jo maza burun al na ta YouTube वरती वीडियो है तो हाँ और जस्ट इट्स ऑन YouTube ऑल्सो 
It's on YouTube also, actually, if I'm not wrong. Drive it is. It's not on YouTube right now. It's out. So it's closed. Uh, it cannot be opened. Uh, good afternoon to all the centers out there. Uh, my name is Swapnil and uh, I am training coordinator for Maharashtra and Kerala for Spoken Tutorial Project. So uh, before I could start with my project, I would like to play a video which uh, says uh, most of the things about our project and how it can be implemented. That can be later explained by me at the end of the video. So uh, kindly pay attention to the video which we played right now. Bombay, funded by National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. Spoken tutorials are audio video demonstrations that illustrate the usage of a software with maximum clarity. On this website, you will find a variety of spoken tutorials on various free and open source software, that too, in various Indian languages. The idea is to teach various software courses in the language that the learner is comfortable in. Learn anytime, anywhere, at one's own convenient pace, both online as well as offline. This flexibility is captured in the Spoken Tutorial logo. It represents the sphere of knowledge, open for free flow of information and knowledge. It overlaps the diversity of language and software. It shows that Spoken Tutorial is a flexible concept that has no limits for expansion. The Spoken Tutorials are created for self-learning purpose. Hence, dependency on a domain expert for training the learners is drastically reduced. The side-by-side -side practice method and the assignments accompanying every tutorial ensure that the learning happens in a systematic way. The courses are created with stringent quality standards. This project is for the community and by the community. Courses are created by software experts through crowdsourcing. These courses are useful to train school children, college students, working professionals, retired professionals, housewives, teachers, trainers, research scholars, software users and developers. Access to the website is free for the student community and at a nominal cost for the corporate or professional learners. The training team handles all requests for organized workshops in various institutes across the country. As of date, all State of India have spoken tutorial presence. And more than 8 lakh students or professionals have already been trained using spoken tutorials. Some of our esteemed partners being NITRTTR Chennai, Bhartiar University Coimbatore, Osmania University Hyderabad, Assam Don Bosco University Guwahati, Martin Luther University Meghalaya, Kuman University Nainita. Associations with DTEs of Karnataka, Goa, Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan and with DSTs and DHEs of Bihar, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Assam. Join us, be part of this national initiative to make India IT literate. Alright, uh, thank you for the listening to the video. Well, uh, to summarize what uh, has been uh, informed in the video is Spoken Tutorial is a programming activity which is a screenshot video of a programming activity and with a voiceover in multiple languages of the country. So, 
a individual who is a participant, uh, either a student or a professor, can learn all these software technologies on a self-learning mode and uh, get their expertise in this particular software. And most of the softwares, maybe all the softwares what we teach is on open source platform. So uh, there won't be any hesitant uh, of, uh, you know, proprietorship. So one can use this software technology and probably pass on to the other people also. So uh, mostly all the uh, colleges in, uh, connected right now are the engineering colleges. So uh, I would like to uh, mention that spoken tutorial uh, offerings are mostly uh, available or probably also part of lab courses of all the engineering curriculum across the country like C, C++, Java, SQL. So I would uh, request all the faculties to take spoken tutorial facility and provide it to students. And the best way to give it to is uh, include this in the lab hours so that when students are going through this particular lab hours for C or Java, they can also refer to the spoken tutorials. This way uh, they'll ensure that the academic uh, requirements are also met and at the same time they also get some additional information and probably more hands-on session about the software. This would eventually help them increase in their knowledge as well as also help in improving their grades. So uh, uh, many of the colleges would be already doing this activity. For those who, have, who are yet to start, uh, I'll be flashing our uh, national coordinator's email address just after my speech. You can all write to us and uh, we'll be definitely happy to work with you and provide this wonderful technology to all the students and the colleges across the country. So I uh, would like to thank you all for listening to me and uh, uh, all the uh, wishes for uh, celebrating this Digital India Week. Thank you. email address bagawa lagel tip ke email address copy kar dunga just copy the email address copy is it exit thank you swapnil and uh, now, as the final presentation uh, for the day, we have uh, Professor Kanan Madgalya, uh, who will be talking about the uh, FOSSI project uh, being conducted at IIT Bombay. Um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kanan Modgalya. I'm going to give a brief overview of uh, uh, the FOSSI project at IIT Bombay. Uh, I have uh, linked uh, the website here. I'm not sure whether you can see it. So FOSSI stands for uh, Free and Open Source Software for Education. And in the bottom, you can see some of the things that we support. Open Foam is uh, equivalent of, uh, is an alternative to um, uh, fluent, computational fluid dynamic software. 
then we have uh, OR tools, uh, OSDAG is for uh, steel to design steel structures and then of course you would have heard of our laptop, FOSSI laptop. In fact, you can see here when you visit our web page, um, a review of um, a FOSSI laptop has come on uh, midday and so on. Scilab, in, Scilab, Scilab is of course uh, our uh, um, you know a software that we promote quite a bit and uh, in fact students from your colleges have participated in something called uh, textbook companion. I do not know let me just go there. Okay. So, you can see um, uh, FOSSI and then um, uh, we do something called textbook companion project. Let me just click that. You can see completed books. So, we have a large number of books close to 500 books already completed. Let me make this slightly bigger. Okay. Total number of completed books is uh, uh, 500. Okay. Um, then, um, so this is something all being done by uh, students from uh, your uh, colleges. For example, if you take this fluid mechanics, it was written by uh, somebody from IIT Bombay. Let us take uh, some other thing, worked examples for engineers. Okay. This is done by a student from Modern College of Engineering. Okay, you take this fluid mechanics, nitrogen. So this person is from Eddie Bombay. Okay, hydraulics. Okay, RB Engineering College. I think this is in Bangalore. So this is being done, and of course all these are available from uh, the um, our cloud also. Okay. So, we have uh, Scilab hosted our, uh, uh, we have hosted Scilab onto the cloud and then you can actually um, do calculations. For example, if you say uh, A equals 1, we create a matrix 2, 3, 4, then determinant of A, execute. Uh, this computation now happens in uh, on the Garuda cloud. See this Scilab on cloud. Uh, so, this uh, message goes to Garuda cloud in Bangalore. It does the com computation and the result will come here. Okay. Then, um, so uh, you can see the answer, you can check the answer. You can also use this to um, the compute the textbook companion. For example, let us take uh, let us take signal processing and let me take uh, this famous book Procus. Let me take the example, let us say frequency analysis of signals and systems. I could have taken anything. Okay, let us take continuous Fourier transform. So, immediately the code comes. This is the textbook companion, it is written by somebody who created this, you can go and check this, created by Professor Senthil Kumar, Institute of Road and Transport Technology in e road he has done this. So, now you execute, this thing executes and gives the result. Okay. So, this is available for 500 books, it is done by students from your colleges. Um, similarly, we have things for Python, we have things for uh, various other uh, things. Yeah, now that it is computing, we can, uh, you know, um, uh, it's go, it takes time. It does not matter how much calculation because the calculation happens in uh, on the Garuda cloud and then, but then there is a communication delay. It goes from here, gets computed and the result comes out. Uh, if there is uh, some graphics, then it takes a little bit of time. Um, so, I thought that I would uh, uh, just give a a small overview um, 
I was uh, actually supposed to uh, here it is ok here is the comp computation you can even uh, right click it you can save the image as something and so on you can do all of that ok close that you can modify this supposing you are going through a fluid flow problem and you say what will happen if the uh, pipe length is doubled then you have the code here on the textbook companion all the worked out examples are there just go and change the name you know double it for example if you want to change dt multiply by 2 semicolon execute it it is going to compute for the changed values now we give honorarium for this. Um, so, I am going to uh, stop here uh, I am going to ask uh, Professor Madhu Belur who is uh, um, a PI in the FASI project to continue and then in fact I would request him to talk about some of the government policies and, um, and anything else that he wants to talk about. Need a pleasure and an honor to be speaking today. Um, I am Madhu Belur, so I am involved in the FOSSI project. So I used to use open source initially, but uh, the amount of pleasure uh, by using open source is doubled, made 100 times by in fact not just using but advocating the use of open source across India. And I uh, have been using uh, Linux or uh, LaTeX some open source packages since close to 20 years, but uh, the development of open source has happened so consistently systematically and and what you see now is an extremely well polished version. So, note that even MATLAB used to be extremely unpolished yeah I I am taking MATLAB as just an example of a proprietary package that is well known across India, but uh, I have been using since close to 20 years in fact we had used it before even Microsoft Windows was there. Microsoft Windows came in 95 I think, but MATLAB our first uh, in exposure was in 1994 and the current version is far better, but uh, around uh, 12 years ago uh, one of my uh, friends told me about Scilab and uh, it is extremely easy to shift from MATLAB to Scilab. Uh, given that it is so easy I will strongly encourage all of you to shift from MATLAB or any other proprietary package to Scilab for almost all your computational needs. In fact, I have been using only Scilab and sometimes I use Python for various purposes. For documentation, of course, it is uh, good to use LaTeX. So, what I intend to tell is that uh, Scilab precision is exactly 10 to the power minus 16 relative precision, uh, same like, like in MATLAB. Of course, if one goes for uh, double precision, one can also go for uh, 64 bit precision in Scilab also. But precision wise it is exactly the same we have equally accurate answers in Scilab and that is because both MATLAB and Scilab utilize something called LAPAC routines at the back end. So, these are all written in Fortran very good state of the art routines written in Fortran. This is what everybody uses now anyway whether it is Python, MATLAB or Scilab and due to this reason primarily the uh, accuracy is exactly the same. Uh, but more importantly uh, it is a pity to uh, waste lots and lots of money on proprietary package given that we have state of the art equivalent packages in open source. Uh, more importantly uh, it is not that uh, uh, this is a hard change uh, because many uh, institutions across the world are shifting to open source that is what makes us truly independent in my uh, honest opinion. It is uh, better than becoming dependent on, uh, on packages which are polished elsewhere at high prices which have to be pirated or have to be purchased rather than doing this uh, piracy type of thing we would rather shift to open source and uh, use licensed open source packages with full self respect rather than using pirated packages. And uh, uh, it is extremely uh, uh, good that for example in IIT Bombay the uh, administrative complete interface has been using only Linux and LibreOffice for all their purposes. Uh, it must be the case in many other institutions in India I am sure and also across India we have helped in shifting many laboratories in engineering colleges to Scilab from their uh, other labs. For example, we have this activity called lab migration one of, one of the thrust activities in FOSSI 
where we help, we pay the teacher to develop codes, to involve students to develop codes, so that all the experiments that are done in either MATLAB or any other proprietary package are all now done in Scilab. So same experimental problem can be achieved with open source and we give you close to around um, 20 colleges, 20 uh, different labs where uh, all the experiments are all available in Scilab. We will encourage you to use them. If you have different experimental problems, we will be involved with you in developing the same in Scilab. So it is our earnest request that you just show the initiative to shift and we are here to help you and make this a success where you can also be amongst various institutions which have shifted to open source. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Belur. Uh, some of you might remember that uh, Professor uh, uh, Madhu Belur was one of the faculty who had uh, conducted a very, very successful workshops in our uh, workshop series on uh, the workshop had been on FOSSI and it had received a really tremendous response at that time. So thank you very much. And uh, uh, unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And so today's uh, uh, our celebration of the Digital India Week has also coming to an end now. I'm uh, very sorry that I could not uh, uh, you know, connect with all of you out there. But uh, we do welcome your uh, responses to us uh, via email. Uh, please do send us how many people were attending uh, this uh, event and uh, your uh, contributions to the Digital India Week. We welcome your responses. And we will be uh, making a compilation of all your responses and uh, send them, uh, s uh, share the, comp the compilation with uh, the ministry as well as all the project leaders who have been uh, who were present here today so uh, thank you very much once again for uh, making this event a big success thank you <laughs>